Hey guys, Jay, and this is Football Talk. And in this one, I got updates about college football. In this one, I will be reacting to College Football 25, 20 things you need to know. Now, this is from a good game, bro. To him, I, I used to watch, uh, well, I still do every now and then, a lot of his football 14, his his dynasty mode and, and stuff like that. So I'm a pretty big, uh, pretty big fan of, of his content. Uh, th I think this is the first time I'm on my channel. So the original link uh, to this will be in the description. Um, man, oh man, I cannot wait to hop into this. Let me just get this out of the way. Dynasty mode is back. I've been able to see the game in Ooh, okay. four different hours while I was down in Orlando, Florida, and I'm here to tell you 20 things you need to know about Dynasty Mode and College Football 25. And while I can't give my personal I'm super excited to talk about today, a lot of the press outlets have already been able to give this information out while I'm held under a different embargo. So the information that we're going to be talking about is down in the description if you want to read it more in detail. I'm also on the road okay. 300,000 subscribers here on YouTube. So Ooh. Content and want more Madden 25 and college give good, 25. Give good game, uh, bro, uh, uh, subscribe, man. Five coaching skill trees return and they're significantly better than what we had in NCAA football 14. In the old game, no matter a player's position, their trade their archetype they just kind of leveled up the same as everybody else college football 25 oh yeah they did it has 11 different branches to it and no oh they bring in the skill tree on all of them the branches are going to give you different boosts in areas like recruiting tactics uh developer motivation and additional areas new in college football 25 okay. you can hire and fire your coordinators thank god what your coach being better nah. and motivation and that's totally cool maybe your coordinators then can focus heavily if my defensive coordinator is anything like lsu defensive coordinator last year he five lift in recruiting because you're probably going to lose a lot of games early on you can focus on recruiting across every one of your coaches you and your coordinators to kind of get a much larger boost similar to past oh, wow. football games the coaching carousel is back we talked about your coaches having different skill trees, being able to hire and fire them. You can imagine the coaching carousel will get wild in the offseason. As your team sees more success, you're going to see your coaches leave for maybe bigger or better opportunities. Maybe they want to be a head coach. Maybe it's a coordinator job at a bigger school. They could potentially leave. And at the same time, maybe there's a head coach that's really good but had a really bad season or two, got fired. Mm. Coordinator on your squad as a rebound. Bringing in the right coach and honestly keeping them will be a major part of your success in this dynasty mode it's not okay all positive, though, i like that the game has had so many big wins across different modes and features we've already talked about there is what no cross play in dynasty mode you can still cross ah uh, dynasty so if you're doing play now i mean i don't is that too is that too bad to go there but not dynasty. let me know guys is that uh like too bad like did y'all want that i mean of course it would be nice to have but maybe maybe next year I, i'm thinking maybe next year they'll work that and do it um but yeah that's 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 a little bit of a bad a bummer i guess you could say but overall the win is the bad so far the developers just weren't able to get it in for the game's return but it's something they're hoping to bring in future iterations of the game see not this i knew it music to everyone's ears team builder is back in college football 25 the one oh the yeah gotten a lot of extensive information revealed on bruh all right i'm gonna read this for you guys player editing one thing that was made clear is that you will be very limited with what you do in terms of editing players compared to the old ncaa football franchise but for good reason because the players in this year's game are actually the guys that are on the rosters you won't be able to make considerable edits to them beyond team builder mode it's a small price to pay to have a game back with actual players in it now for the people that have been hoo hooing about this because i have seen a lot of like people like oh i'm not buying the game because i can't edit my player or this and that um shout out to the commenter that uh commented on one of my videos uh we had a good little conversation about you know why things are like they are um but this right here is very understandable right here because and none if i can if i'm remembering right none of the other college football games had actual players so you could edit a player that you wanted like a joe burrow or you know well at that time what like 14 you can edit like a player like that so this right here it's a small price i mean yeah it sucks that you know you can't edit your players but for me personally i'd rather have the real players Maybe that's just me. I'm 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 excited to see the actual players, even though I'm not gonna know their names and stuff like that. But it's a good way to learn your your fate. You might you might find a favorite player on your on your school that you root for 
And then when you watch the real college, uh, real college football, you already know, all right, this player is good. This player, eh, I can use some work, this and that. Like, you can already know. You already got you already got the cheat sheet. So, my opinion, I think this is a good thing. Um, Yeah, I think this is a good game. Good thing. Yet, EA Sports website does say that you can design uniforms, helmets, fields, and upload your own logo. So, I consider that a massive. The customization so is going to be crazy. Now in Dynasty mode, but and it's also in Madden. Website, if it'll launch you guys have not watched my uh, last video. Launch could be day of, could be before. We have no idea. But to confirm, as long as your online dynasty has a password associated with it to make it sort of a private online dynasty, you can absolutely use a team builder team in your dynasty mode. Online. Ooh, do not abuse it, guys, please. Dynasty mode really has an NIL component to it. It's kind of all the talk in college football these days. The answer is a little weird because it kind of is, but it kind of isn't. NIL is too confusing. Rather than calling it NIL, dynasty mode in college football 25 will call it brand. So as you can imagine, building up your program in okay. turn will grow your brand. Yeah, it's, it's sort of like uh, 2K. The L side of things, just don't really expect to meet with players and try to, you know, slide them some dollars or a couple million to come to your school. That's not in the game. The brand impact, or the NIL, also leads to the transfer portal, which is in this year's game. Throughout each season, you're going to have a menu that lets you see what players on your own team are at risk for transferring, which is a massive thing, and then what their gripe ultimately is. Do they feel like they're not getting enough playing time? Are they worried about their draft status? Are they just hating you as a head coach maybe there's national championship concerns whatever mm. it's up to you to resolve their concerns or they might be up out of here you might lose your starting quarterback and then so it's important to ensure you're dipping your toes into both uh, of the damn the jucos then because with the new um uh, if you guys are uh have not watched any updates about it um what is it called the wear and tear system it's gonna be a lot of broken controllers I'm telling you, especially in dynasty mode. Oh my goodness. Can you imagine like you on the Heisman race, like you got a Heisman type of quarterback and then it's like, it's getting, it's getting down to, to the later end of the season. And then he just takes a wrong hit and he's out for the rest of the year. And y'all, and y'all was in, y'all was in the college football playoffs. I mean, how many teams is it now? Is it 12? It's the new, it's the new one. So we, we're going to be able to see the new college football playoff system before real life. That is going to, I think it's, I think it's 10 to 12 if I'm not mistaken. So that's going to be brutal if your star quarterback, your Heisman type of quarterback gets injured within like the last couple of weeks of the playoffs. Oh my goodness, bro. I ain't going to lie. I might cry. I might cry if that happens. In the transfer portal as well. If your player does say, though, that they want to transfer, you do have an opportunity to try and keep them. Most importantly, though, mm, OK, to be witnessing them in another uniform next season. And I don't mean on Sundays. And how much you want bad is going to be a rival, a massive part of your team's success or failure, depending on how good of a coach you are. Recruiting is just as important. Your school is going to have a my school screen that shows different pitch grades. and You'll see, you know, potential deal breakers for the players as well. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. Well, then not every player is going to have a deal breaker, but the ones that do it absolutely is a determining factor. Imagine you're Georgia, the number one team in the nation, and there's a kid from California, and his number one priority is to play. Oh, even though you're a great team, it might be nearly impossible to get that kid to. Damn. Cali. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. I like that. I want to pause once and once again. Sorry about that. I like that aspect. So even though you're the number one team, because I think in years past, if you was the number one team and you just, you know, dressed it up for them and everything they're going to your school you know it was never they never thought about well maybe i want to stay home closer to my parents close to my sister my family like they never could really considered that but this time it don't matter if you're georgia it don't matter if you're lsu it don't matter if you're alabama auburn ohio state notre dame what whatever school you want to big name school you want to throw out there it might not matter they might just want to stay home closer to home and have their own path you never know their path could be more successful than when with you just because you get the the five star and four star players that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to transfer over to the college level the level that you want also because if you're those teams you're you're competing for championships you're not competing for uh, the the in season awards or whatever you're competing your, your ultimate goal is to win the national championship. If you don't win that, nothing else matters. I'm going to keep it buck with you. I like that right there. To Georgia. 
you're also not going to be able to spend like a simple week on scouting a player, review all their stuff, and be like, I'm good. Recruiting happens over stages in College Football 25, and you're not going to be able to even get a player's full skill tree until you've brought them on an official visit. Importantly, though, there's not really one just way to recruit in this game. The transfer portal opens up a wild amount of combinations for how your offseason can go, and so if you're recruiting transfer portal well and hitting the transfer is portal, going to be not, good and bad. You might be coaching elsewhere. Every year, it feels like a wild amount of teams are changing conferences and trying to jump to the SEC or hell yeah conference. And there's just I, I don't want to know who's in each conference a anymore. Of custom conferences in this game, you'll be able to move teams around, change conference rules. And I did hear about this one. Components. So maybe Michigan. Hey, what school y'all gonna move around? Like, hey, I want to make sure that Michigan and Ohio State still play each other each year. You can absolutely do that. Or maybe you want. Oh, yeah, I'm keeping that. Nine conference games, and then you want the conference championship game to be played at the top ranked team site instead of a neutral site. You can do that as well. One small note, though, you cannot Ooh. create a new conference from scratch. It's got to be one of the current conferences. You can okay. Move around as much as you want. I mean, with teams. hey, I'm I'm cool with that. You cannot make a new one. Whether you're playing online or offline, custom schedules are also back in your control. Keep in mind, though, the conference games will still be locked, kind of like how you saw in NCAA Football 14. All right, that's perfect. Actual schedule rotations that you're going to see in real life conferences, and they even have some mm. 2032 and beyond. There's also a focus on Damn. being played on the correct date, so the rivalries are going to be played on the correct. Oh, week. that's awesome! I like that detail. You're screaming from the mountaintops. What about Week Zero games? Well, they're also going to be in College Football 25. With that being said, they do. There were Week like Zero. Game? In Ireland, so that game aren't those spring bad. games i'm tripping kickoff games though are a part of the game and are licensed but they're going to be scheduled by the cpu so if you're trying to take a team like umass and okay the duke's mayo uh kickoff game that's just not going uh -huh. to be done a big change you're going to find in college football 25 is around recruiting visits and kind of how they operate players lock in their teams in stages and once they've gotten to the top five stage and locked in their teams assuming you're one of them which you know might be difficult you can then finally schedule them on a visit. Not only that, you can actually craft a visit that's really catered to that particular player and hopefully your school's strengths as well. You'll be selecting individual options to make sure that they have the best possible itinerary to make sure they're having a great time when they visit your school. The game that you bring the player in has significant weight too. You'll be able to see how particular wins or losses from a particular game might impact the recruit's opinion of your school. Losing to a top ranked school might not hurt you as much as losing to like a Louisiana Lafayette. Good luck if you're trying to recover from that. CFB 25 Bruh. will also have. If you lose to a team like that, a big game, or a Wyoming TV game, a major important one, then you can expect to see Chris Fowler pack up your bags, coach. Game. For the other God team, it. dynasty mode, you can see Reese Davis, Jesse Palmer, David Pollock out there as your announcers to really call your games. But you also will get special appearances from Desmond Howard and Kevin Connors as well. If you played a lot of. Ooh. Okay, so they special guests. All right. Ones. Rebuilding a small school was like not that hard the first season you might struggle a little bit but yeah not at all you're getting multiple three stars at least a four star to maybe even a five star if you're lucky in college football 25 plenty of the top recruits in the four and five star ranges will have smaller schools locked out with deal breakers there's definitely a heavier emphasis on building up your pitch okay so it's gonna make it harder the for the to land some when you start a new school i like that portal this goes for even more of a challenge well. but once you do land them there's also no guarantee you'll be able to keep them so again Keep them happy, win some games, and just hope the transfer portal treats you kindly. I mentioned the ability to hire and fire coordinators in Dynasty mode earlier in this video, but know that there are consequences if you fire a coach. Each coach is set mm, in wait, what? three of players that are sort of, you know, attached to them. And you can actually see what this will be in game. Now, nah, what? That coach. Since players are able to transfer at the end of every single season. So there's consequences to firing your head coach because you might, he might be attached to one of your players one of your high five star four star whatever type of star player and he's walking and he can walk too Ooh, ooh, ain't gonna lie to you, you might want to stick out with your coach even though y'all might not have the best record you might want to stick out with your coach all right my goodness great right. oh that's that's brutal i love it but that's brute that's going to be brutal just like in real life, they could choose to go with that coach to it, the different school they go to or elsewhere if you end up And then win a national championship. But a player they've recruited might be worth just keeping around for a little bit longer. A small but great detail, in my opinion, is that if you move a school from one conference to another, their stadium, field, and jersey patches will be fully updated as well. So if you move Colorado... Now what? Now nah, EA doing their thing. How that school shows up in the oh game. yeah, we back. Something that a lot of people seem to care a whole lot about is that there will be no coin toss in games you play in dynasty mode or a really any other mode 
except for like one particular instance. And to be fair, it's not something we really have in Madden either, but you can set your coin to- Hey, it's true. Game. We don't have that in Madden. It's kind of within the game settings. The one area though that you can actually find the coin toss is that if you find yourself an overtime in college football 25, you will get a coin toss that'll be able to make a decision on, but that's the only time. Oh. If you're a fan of rivalry games, okay. I'm happy to know that every single rivalry game- I still am a little confused on the overtime rules in college football. And not just that, they motion captured every single celebration with the actual trophy or sort of a mock of the trophy made out of wood uh, to make sure that they have a- Ooh, let's go! I'm happy to see that records are back. In college football 25, they're going to be featuring school, conference, and national records that you have a chance to try and take down, as well as a bunch of different awards that are in the game for your players to win. And lastly, this one hurts if I'm being perfectly honest with you, but you cannot export draft classes from college football 25 to Madden 25. Isn't it because it's real names? Why that's not going to happen is that players are licensed in college football 25 for their college. That's right. Yeah. Yep. Yep. They are I remember that. LPA. I remember Eric uh, talking about that. And so it feels like really a legal gray area with why we're not seeing those guys be able to go from college to Madden. It sucks. I'm extremely sad about it as somebody who exports players all the time. But I'm hoping in the future we can see that resolved. But at this point, yeah, you know, may maybe in the future we can get it. You're but what happens when you get, you know, I understand into your dynasty and all the real players are completely gone at that point, and it's just randomly generated players in your dynasty. Mm. You cannot export those players either. I know. Oh, you still can. But that is oh, damn. Many different things about college football 25 that I hope you guys enjoyed. I've got more college football 25 wow. content coming every single week. So make sure to subscribe. Right, so you don't miss out be safe be smart tell somebody you love them catch you guys in the next one wow it was some things that uh i had already heard or uh, reacted to before but a lot of this i did not like if you change um a team into a different conference it updates like the stadium and everything that right there is so cool but the transfer portal is gonna be amazing and then you're gonna want to throw your controller at anything that moves I'm already seeing it right now. I think one of the, the craziest things for me was if you fire your coach, some of the players might go with that coach to a different school or whatever. They might travel with that coach. That right there, man, it's, you're going to have to be very, very critical of your decision making. Like you can't just now, you can't just make your decision like, oh, that coach is fired. Get him out of here. Because that's thing you know, you might... You might have four or five players that really like that coach and now they going with him and that's saying you know they they number one they number one in, in the um in college football and they're winning two national championships back to back i mean it could be just like that like and you just looking like why did i do that should have stuck with him i, I could have stuck with him for a little bit longer you know maybe 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 hey things would change would change around for me but i love this um i wasn't a big dynasty mode guy back in the old college football games but i have watched a lot of college football um dynasty modes uh, in my free time and they look really fun the team builders back i really love that it's also in madden 25 if you guys uh, did not know that also so that's going to be awesome amazing i cannot wait for even more things to come out about college football you know your boy will be reacting to it but that's going to do it for me, guys. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy this reaction. Love you guys. I'll see you guys.